There is a reason for us to want to be in a group when there is threat. Right? There is safety in numbers. We are protected when we are part of a, uh, of a group. We did a study in which we uh, showed subjects uh, a scary movie. You know that movie, The Shining, yeah. with Jack Nicholson, yep, The yep. Axe? We showed them that, mm. that movie. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the movie, we stopped and showed them an ad for the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. If we said a museum that's visited by over a million people a year, those people who were seeing the scary movie became significantly more likely to want to visit the museum than those who were, who were seeing a romantic comedy. Because when you're afraid, you want to go with the group. So in a state of uncertainty or threat or fear, people will go to the message that says a lot of other people just like you have decided to do that. Okay, that's my safety, I'm in the group. But remember I said there were also some people who were seeing a romantic comedy. They were put in an amorous state of mind by this, by this film. The one that made them want to go there right, was the one that was scarcity-based. It said, be one of the few on your block who have experienced this great museum. Now, why would romance lend itself to being not in the crowd, but being one of the few. Because when you are amorously inclined, you don't want to be in a lot of people. You want to be separate so that you are the, the sole object of affection. Right? So depending on whether you are in a, a threat-based or an amorously-based state of mind, different Advertising messages have different consequences. Wow.